Hi, I'm Mrs. Cutler. And I'm Kelly Neal. Yes, and we're going to show you two different uh, ways to remove personal protective equipment. I am going to do the more tr traditional way, and then Kelly will show a newer way in which some people are incorporating uh, removal of the gown and gloves. Okay, when we put our gown on, we want to make sure that the, the ties are on the outside. So we'll go ahead and put our gowns on. We tie our necks first, and we want to make sure we cover all our um, clothing. As best as you can. If you're larger, right. you may not be able to cover the gown up completely in the back, but that's okay. Okay. And we want to tie a bow. And then we're going to take our gowns and make sure that we wrap them around so our clothing is covered in the back. Once we know that has happened, we can go back and we can tie our isolation gowns with a bow then at the waist. After doing that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put my gloves on. We want to make sure the uh, sleeve is down low enough so when we put our gloves on it goes over our uh, isolation gown so I'm pulling, pulling it down just a little and make sure it, it goes over the gown that was ripped but that's okay <laughs> I have a little bit in mine too so now I am gowned and Kelly is gowned and we go in and we do our work in an isolation room now we have both come out and I'm going to show you the traditional way of removing uh, the isolation gown and then Kelly will show you a newer way so first of all what we want to do is we want to make sure we take our gloves off properly we pinch and we remove very slowly so we don't spray those. And then we put that in that hand there. Then I can pull my arm up a little, use my finger, turn my gloves inside out, and I can remove them at that time into the trash. I would then go ahead, I'm going to undo for the, uh, the waist. The certification states you can undo the neck or the waist uh, whichever you prefer so either one is okay then I'm going to go up to my neck and uh, undo and then I'm pulling my gown down with my straps here now we want to take this and move it all the way down so we can remove it without contaminating ourselves and we roll now the outside is completely clean it's inside out and I roll the uh, gown so it's in the ball and I put that also in the trash I then will turn to the evaluator say I would wash my hands good skill complete now Kelly will show you a different technique okay so the other way you can do this and for the state competency testing it does not matter which one you choose to do I like to pull my gown out a little bit from my sleeve I then take this one off Keep it in this hand, come underneath here, and then this will go in the garbage. Whether you untie the top or the bottom, it will not matter. And if for some reason you've managed to knot yourself up back here when you're untying, just tell your evaluator you'd knot yourself up. In real life, you would have to rip it off, but the evaluator may want to save their gowns. So now what I do is I'm going to pull, so this, this part of my um, gown was covered with my glove. So now I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to pull here. And now I'm going to take dirty, this part's dirty, to this part which is dirty, and lift it off. And now I'm going to just bring it inside out, rolling it inside out. And now I've got it inside out and I can come over to here. And then I would tell my evaluator I would wash my hands. And either one of those techniques will be fine for state competency.